Hello YouTube and welcome to the iSettle Reader unboxing and review. We're looking at the packaging of the iSettle Reader. The rear will show you the point of sale system, where to get more info and it's an iOS and Android device. Let's go right ahead and open it up. There are two seals, one on each side. Let's remove the cover and get to the inside. First thing we have is a packaging with documentations. The first sheet are your typical warranty guidelines. And the second book is the user manual. Last but not least, we do have a sticker that tells you MasterCard, Visa, American Express, and all the other credit cards that you can accept with this device. The card reader comes with a micro USB cable for charging. And of course the iSettle reader itself. There's nothing else in the packaging, so let's just put it aside. The iSettle reader has a very nice feel to it. On the back you can see two charging ports. The bottom has the credit card slot for the chip card reader. On the top you have the sliding slot. There's a power button, a hook to connect a string to and the micro USB for charging. The buttons feel quite firm, um, however still a little bit soft to the mechanics of the buttons. After you've set up your account with iSettle and downloaded the app, we need to connect the iSettle reader. For this we go into the settings menu, go to card readers and connect card reader. We select the first iSettle reader, we have to make sure it's powered on, hit next. Then we have to put a device into the Bluetooth pairing mode by pressing the check mark button for 3 seconds. And then we hit next. Now we hit the pair button and select the iSettle Reader 074, which is also shown on the device itself. We want to confirm the pair request on the iPad as well as on the device. And voila, we are connected. Now let's start off with a typical situation where a customer wants to pay you. In this case, we're going to open the iSettle app. It'll show that the, the card reader is connected. We would like to do a custom entry for 250 euros. And for the description, we're going to give it a name General Services. We hit OK to confirm. Then we can select cash or card payment. In this case, we're going to select card payment. Now we have to insert the card. We're using the chip. It's asking us to enter the PIN number and confirm with the check mark. And voila, the payment is approved. We can remove the card. And now you get to select to print the receipt, to send the receipt via email or via text message. In this case, we're going to print and send via email. Printing needs to be set with an AirPrint capable printer. And the receipt will look like this. Top right will show you the date and the invoice number. It will show you general services, 250 euros. We paid with Visa card and that it's powered by iSettle.com. Now as a second example, I'd like to show you the contactless payments. In this case, we're going to use a predefined product, which is called Beratung for 18 euros and 55 cents. We just hold the card next to the device and it's approved. That's it, super easy. When you complete the payment process, you also have a way of looking at all the receipts. It'll show you the receipt with the amount, the date. You can also look on the map where it has happened and you have the option to refund the payment. The device is quite high quality itself. It has a very nice feel to it, a very professional look. The two golden contact pins on the rear are for charging in the dock. For more information on the iSettle reader, visit iSettle.com. 
Thanks for watching. Please remember to subscribe to my channel and feel free to comment below.